Some more rain to talk about? Yeah, unfortunately not here in Albuquerque. Let's get right into it, taking a look at Sandia Peak. We had some nice cloud cover, but a pretty hot day in the uh, low 90s is what we're looking to probably top out at. Taking a look at satellite radar, most of the action is in the southwest, starting to get brewing. Storms on the way for Deming, Silver City, Las Cruces along I-25, looking for some storms. Also in central parts of the state. The bulk of the moisture is in Arizona once again, but Gallup Grant's in line for some storms. And then we're starting to see them also start to bubble up over the Sangre. So some storms make their way over Taos. And uh, some could creep into the Española area, even Santa Fe. We're not talking any severe weather. We've been dry in Albuquerque, uh, but northwest New Mexico could get a shower or two this afternoon and evening. A couple of storms kind of try to creep into the Los Lunas area, but they seem to be fizzling out. But we do have a chance for thunderstorms this evening, just not a great one. We're going to be slow to cool down this evening. 68 as you get up tomorrow morning, and then another warm day on tap. We have a lot of dry air coming in from the east. You can see that moisture plume all in Arizona and some in western New Mexico, but we're just not favored as some of that dry air starts to creep in. Could see some flooding in the west over the Whitewater Baldy Burn Scar area, so we'll keep an eye on that for Catron County. Um, we have the assistance of a little low pressure system that's giving us some uplift. This is where we're going to focus our storms for tonight. As we get into Sunday, it's going to be hot and dry in the east, and then we'll look to the west again, the northern mountains, the southwest, Durango area for storms on Sunday. As we get into Monday, Tuesday, the middle of the week, the high is going to get right over New Mexico, and then it's going to kind of scoot that moisture over to the west. So it's going to be hot underneath this high. Wait till you see some of the seven day forecasts. We're really going to get those temperatures cooking, uh, even here in the Albuquerque area. Let's do our storm track. We'll get the clock rolling. Those storms will start to die off in the afternoon, evening hours. As we get going tomorrow, you see them bubbling up, mainly on the periphery in the northern part of the state, the southwest. This is 12 p.m. And then as we get going into Sunday evening, focused on Durango along western uh, New Mexico, eastern Arizona. And then for Monday, it's going to be a pretty limited coverage for the thunderstorms in the north. Some will try to creep around the northeastern part of the state, but you can see that high overhead not letting much get in. 89 degrees right now in Albuquerque. The rest of the state pretty hot down in the southeast. 94 in Roswell. 91 in Carlsbad. Let's do the numbers. Southern Colorado, partly cloudy, scattered thunderstorms for tomorrow. Again, Monday, then isolated activity after that, and temperatures slowly creep up into the low 80s. For the four corners, take a look at your seven-day forecast in Farmington. Heat is on the way here, too. 94 by Wednesday. Chance for some afternoon thunderstorms for tomorrow, and then after that, kind of spotty activity. The next couple of days look to be the better of chances. As we look at the southwest, afternoon and thunderstorms for your Sunday, then again on Monday, and then we'll keep isolated chances in the forecast for Silver City, also seeing temperatures climb into the low 90s. Southeast New Mexico, it's going to be hot, it's going to be dry. 95 in Carlsbad, 98 in Roswell. Well, wait till Tuesday and Wednesday, 100, 101 on Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe a stray storm in the Sacramento Mountains, but don't look for much rain in Roswell this week. Partly cloudy. Uh, partly sunny, excuse me, stray storm possible in the northeast. And then we'll continue with those chances in Las Vegas. It'll be a situation where they start in the Sangres and then drift into another location. But we're not talking widespread activity at all. Afternoon thunderstorms in the mountains, they could slip into other locations like Santa Fe. And that'll be the story all week. We'll get the lift of the mountains and have to rely on them to move to other locations. Uh, but not a great coverage for Santa Fe. Temperatures also climbing. In the East Mountains, afternoon thunderstorms, warm temperatures out there, 90 in Edgewood, 87 in Mountain Air. Right here in the Duke City, a slight storm chance for tomorrow. Doesn't look great. 94 downtown. And then as we look at the seven day forecast, we're going to get up to about 96. Some of us even 98 degrees, nearing 100 degrees by the middle of the week. Here and there, pockets of uh, isolated activity possible, but uh, it doesn't look great. It's going to be hot. Oh, and, uh, boy. It looks to be dry. Summer's, oh, okay. summer's uh, in full swing. All right. Thank you, Ian. Mm -hmm. Now, here's Lawrence Gilligan with sports.